back to the channel for another video. Today I came over here to Portland, Oregon to Washington Park to explore Washington Park. I think I'm gonna go to the Hoyt Arboretum. I think that's where I'm gonna go first, but I gotta find my way. I just got off the max. I'm gonna say being the only one down here in this uh, train station during the subway basically, I feel like it's like a subway, you know, underground. It's kind of eerie. The Washington Park consists of the Oregon Zoo, the Hoyt Arboretum. It consists of the Assam Museum, Portland Japanese Garden, the Rose Garden. So it's up this way actually. So. A huge elevator, but yeah. So I came over here and I'm thinking I'm gonna go. Uh, we're down here, I believe, and we're gonna go all the way up here to Washington Park. So the Oregon Zoo is just right there. Looks like there's construction going on at the very uh, entrance, but I'm gonna make my way to Hoyt Arboretum. I think that's how you say it. I'm not, I'm not 100 sure, but it's like a trail. There's also a Holocaust memorial. There's also a Veterans Memorial. So they have a couple of memorials, and they're all around the same area, alongside the Rose Garden and Portland Japanese Garden, which I have done here on the channel. Check those videos out if you guys haven't. Probably link them here on the ID card. And we've also done the Oregon Zoo. So I'll leave that linked up in the description down below as well and up the, up here. Before I start heading over there, since we're already here, I'm gonna actually go around. It's like a little loop where the Oregon Zoo is, where the Discovery Museum is, which we do have to do that at, um, at some point. And then there used to be a children's museum. I'm not sure if that museum is still here or not, but we did that back in 2019 and it was uh, pretty cool. But yeah, this video is gonna be exploring Washington Park here in Portland, Oregon. Not sure what this is, probably just nothing, but it's pretty cool. Oh, check this out. I got these uh, little maps, explore Washington Park. Here is the Discovery Museum, which we have to do at some point. It looks very interesting. I've seen pictures online about it. A couple rocks here, little paintings on the side. Discovery Museum there. And yeah, museum hours Wednesday to Sunday only. So Monday and Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. They're closed today. But I think it'll be really cool to come here one of these days and check it out. Look at that building though. Looks pretty cool. So right next to Discovery Museum, they have this train here. We remember seeing this the last time we were here at the Oregon Zoo. They got some logs here loaded up on the train. It's pretty cool. I think last time we were able to go on there. So let's see if it's still open. So they have this pathway here. Yeah, you can still go on there. Check this out. They got some logs here as well. And then some logs in the back, the ones I showed in the beginning. And they do have a sign says do not climb on the logs be safe so don't be too adventurous out here but yeah they got this train just parked here so i guess the train's name is peggy peggy is a 42 ton old style lima shea geared locomotive who was hauled an estimated billion feet of logs in her lifetime built in 1909 so i guess it was a operational one in 1909 by lima locomotive works in lima and so this is from 1909 you see a picture of it here. I wonder when this picture was taken. I don't think it says. Here's some facts. May 3rd, 1909. That's when it was built. I just got some information about it here. And even has the owners all the way down to the city of Portland. And now the World Forestry Center, which is right here where the museum is. And now it sits here, parked for people to enjoy it here. Not exactly sure what this is, but there's the Harry A. Merlo Hall, which is right next to the train. And now we're coming to where it used to be the Children's Museum, that building right there. I had to get out today because the sun was coming out. There's blue skies. Right now, now it's getting like a mixture of cloudiness and blue skies, but when I first got out of work today, it was blue skies, beautiful weather. Like I don't even have my other jacket on, I just have my hoodie. 
because it just feels good so I had to get out and I was like where can I go and I remembered about Washington Park how I always kind of wanted to go back to Hoyt Arboretum and kind of like explore this area too so we're getting here to the Children's Museum and here it is I remember uh, walking this maze here three years ago I'm not sure if it's open anymore yeah is it still operational no they no. shut down during the pandemic during oh yeah yeah I remember coming here 2019 yeah and it was still so the board got together and they decided that was the end yeah so the city still owns the building any plans for doing There's anything no plans yet. yeah so. yeah so i was just talking to the ranger here and he told me yep it's not operation anymore anymore they had to shut it down because of the pandemic the city still owns the building but they don't know they don't have any plans yet to do anything else portland children's museum you know the building's still here but yeah not operational unfortunately one last look I'm glad that we got to do the Portland Children Museum where it was still in business 2019 which was the day where we no one knew that was going to be the last year that they were going to operate but luckily we took the kids here they enjoyed it uh, we vlogged it actually but it was back in the day when my wife and I had a channel so I have it in a hard drive but yeah this was a cool museum for children had a lots of activities and everything so it was a nice museum sad it's sad to see it go we kind of made a loop around now we're going to where the oregon zoo is and then we'll make our way down there to the hoyt arboretum where just the trails and stuff like that and here's the oregon zoo under construction or at least the entrances so it's closed today though and i believe it's because of this construction so this is the second time i see one of these actually the last time i saw one of these was at Dawson Creek, which I just made a video about. This is like a bike fixation station, which basically has all the tools you might need to fix your bike. Even has an air pump here. Let me know in the comment section, do you guys ever seen one of these in your area? I thought this was pretty cool and pretty handy. They have, they have a wrench. They have all sorts of tools for your, for your bike. And like I said, also the air pump to inflate your tires. It's pretty cool, man. Pretty handy here. I hit a fork in the road. The Veterans Memorial is straight, the Hoyt Arboretum is right. I thought they were going to be around the same area, but I think they're in two different locations. So, I don't know, I think I'm going to do the Veterans Memorial first, check that out real quick, and then head over to the Hoyt Arboretum. So on these walls, there's a bunch of names, right? About the people that went to Vietnam and they lost their life to Vietnam. But there's also like little, little stories of what was happening while Vietnam was happening, what was happening here in Oregon and the things that Oregon was going through at the same time. So it's kind of interesting because, yeah, we're in Oregon and it pays respect to the people, all these people right here on the wall. But it also lets us know what was going on throughout these years while the Vietnam War was going on what was going on here in Oregon. And here, we're at the last wall here. At first I thought it said MIA, but I think it's MIA. And it is because they were missing in action. So these people here were missing in action. They couldn't find them. It says that the one with the star next to them, it says remains recovered. So the ones that have a star have been recovered. But there's a couple of them that never got recovered, unfortunately. So yes, that was the memorial. I had about six or seven walls filled with names of the people that were in Vietnam that sadly passed away and just remembering their names on the walls. And they're also giving information about what was going on here in Oregon during that time in Vietnam. And then the last wall was the people that were MIA. They couldn't discover, they couldn't recover them or they recovered them and they had to, you know, put a star next to them for the ones that did, did recover. That was nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and I believe go to keep going this way i think it just turned into a trail here so i'm gonna go down this trail and hopefully it leads me to the hoyt arboretum
Okay, that was a, probably like a five minute walk from the memorial up here to the Hoyt Arboretum. So not that much of a walk, to be honest, not too bad. By the way, when you get here to the Hoyt Arboretum, you could either park here. Usually, we usually park on the side of the street because they don't charge. But if you park in this lot right here, the Hoyt Arboretum Hoyt lot, right there or even if you park right here right in front you do have to pay so here's the parking lot for the Hoyt Arboretum here and like I said here you do have to pay not sure how much it is though I'm pretty sure it's like two or three dollars an hour or something like that your typical price per hour now they do have a visitor center here at the Hoyt Arboretum whether you it's like a little gift shop and also where the bathrooms are if you guys want to use the restroom and here we are I always thought this thing right here looks really cool. This is a beautiful spot to have like a birthday party. I think last time we came, they were having a birthday party here. It is beautiful. This honestly reminds me of camping. It feels like I'm in a campsite right now with picnic tables and surrounded by trees and nature. We're gonna make our way down this trail here. I'm kind of bummed because my next destination that I was planning to go to was the Holocaust Memorial Museum that they have here. It's actually in the same area, but I looked it up on Google Maps how much, how long it would take me to walk there. 28 minutes. So unfortunately, since I'm, you know, limited in time, I can't do that. And so I'm going to have to pass on that and come back. But it gives me a reason to come back and go to the Holocaust Memorial Museum because I got to do that, man. I, I know I've been knowing about it for a while, but yeah, it's, and it's free. It's free of cost. So it doesn't cost anything. You could just walk around. I don't, I don't know how big it is or how small it is or whatnot, but it's free and it's right here around this area. So it's kind of a bummer that uh, it's just a little bit too far for me to go walking and, and make it back on time, you know, so. We're gonna keep exploring here for a little bit here at the Hoyt Arboretum. Gonna go down the trails for a little bit and then start making our way back to the Mac Station. Got another board here about large. So you got European large, Japanese large, got weeping Japanese large, and then bark Western large. I think that's how you say it, right? Large. Might be completely butchering that. One thing that you will find all over Oregon trails is a lot of information about everything. It could be about the flowers, it could be about the large, it could be about the moth, it could be about the birds, about the animals that are wherever you're walking at. They always have informational boards that tell you what's going on, what, what you could expect to find. So I always think that's pretty cool. Okay, so that's gonna conclude this video, guys. I'm just gonna go across the street, go to the restroom real quick, and then start making my way back to the Max station, waiting for the Max, taking it back home and being there on time, like a respons responsible parent, being there on time for my daughter's bus stop when it gets there. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button, consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.